When working with chemical reactions, it is very important that you work in molar concentrations or moles per volume. In a chemical reaction, mass concentrations are meaningless. In the example chemical reaction shown, this can be read as one mole of calcium hydroxide plus two moles of hydrochloric acid yields one mole of calcium chloride and two moles of water. It's very important that you be able to read a chemical reaction. Converting between the mass concentration and molar concentration is easily performed using the molecular weight of a compound. For instance, if you know what the gram per liter or the mass concentration of a substance is, you can multiply by the molecular weight of the compound, which is expressed as moles per gram or gram per mole, and that would give you moles per liter. This is defined as the molar concentration, which is often given the symbol of big M. In this example, we're going to show how you can convert mass concentration to molar concentration. 50 milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate is dissolved in solution. What is the molar concentration? The molecular weight of calcium carbonate can be found using a periodic table. You see that the element calcium has an atomic mass of 40 grams per mole. Likewise, carbon has an atomic mass of 12 grams per mole, and oxygen has an atomic mass of 16 grams per mole. So if we're trying to find the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, we're going to add the atomic mass of calcium, 40 grams per mole, plus the atomic mass of carbon, 12 grams per mole, plus three times the atomic mass of oxygen, 16 grams per mole. And that is because oxygen has three moles in this chem chemical compound. So this added together yields 100 grams per mole. So going back to our example, we're trying to convert 50 milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate to molar concentration. We're simply going to multiply the mass concentration of calcium carbonate, 50 milligrams per liter, times the molecular weight, 100 grams per mole, and make sure that our units cancel out by saying that there are 1,000 milligrams per gram. And when we do that, we'll see that we're left with 0 0.005 moles calcium carbonate per liter. This could be expressed as 0 0.005 molar. It may also be expressed as 5 millimolar.